Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday on beauty and skincare. And today is no different. Today I'll show you how to get this look, which is inspired by the diva herself, Karina Kapoor Khan. She was recently spotted in stunning smoky eyes, loose beach waves in her hair, and an ensemble that echoed the fashionista in her during the release of Vire the Wedding trailer. So I wanted to break down this look for you guys and show you both makeup and hair in this tutorial and here's the look I came up with. I hope you enjoy this video and without further ado, let's get this started. Let's look at her face one time. It almost looks like the light is coming out of her face. It's glowy, it's dewy and that's what we will do with my face. So to prime my face, I'm going to be using two different products. First will be the O2O Rose Gold Exiler. This is from HipDot. This product is infused with 24 karat gold so I'm hoping that it'll add to the glow that I want to achieve in the base. On top of that I'm going to be using the NYX Photo Loving Primer. This has silica in it so it'll help to blur out all those pores and smoothen my skin out before I apply the foundation. I'm not going to be color correcting today because I don't want too many layers under my foundation. I just want the look to be very natural and glowy. For foundation, I'm using my all-time favorite. This is the Dream Liquid Mousse from Maybelline in the color Honey Beige. To this, I'm going to mix a drop of vitamin E oil, the smallest drop possible. And then I'm going to apply it to the center of my face using a brush first. And then I will spread it out using a damp beauty sponge. Karina didn't seem to have any harsh contours, so I'm not going to be contouring my face either. But just to add some structure to my face, I'm going to be using a darker color foundation. This is the Clean Color Foundation Stick in Rich Cocoa, and I'm going to be using this in the hollows of my cheekbones and in the circumference of my face. And then to highlight the highest planes of my face, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in the color Medium. When you use two different color foundations like this, it almost acts like it's casting a shadow on your face with makeup. So that way you have a dimension to the face rather than making it look flat with one color foundation. With a damp beauty sponge, I'm going to blend everything out so it looks seamless and there's no harsh lines left on my face. Before the concealer under my eyes starts creasing and settling in those fine lines, I'm going to set it with this loose powder from Artistry. And with the same powder, I'm going to set just my T-zone, not my entire face because I still want the face to be glowy and dewy. I will set my T-zone, however, because that's where I sweat and when I sweat, the foundation comes off. She definitely had blush, so I'm going to be using a light flush of color on my cheeks as well. This is Romantic Rose from Sephora. And for that extra glow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. And as always, I'm going to apply it with a brush and slowly push it in with my finger. You can also use a dry sponge to push it in to get that natural glow. And this will go on the highest planes of my face. To even out the skin tone on my lids, I'm going to use a thin layer of concealer. I'm going to spread it out with my finger and then set it with some loose powder. First taking this NYX eye pencil in black, I'm going to be using this in the waterline as well as the top lash line. It's completely okay if it's not perfect or very neat because we are going to be smudging it out anyway. From my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, I'm going to take this dark grey color with a pencil brush and I'm going to start smudging my lash line both in the top lid as well as the lower lash line to get the desired smoky effect, just like what Karina Kapoor has. From her picture, it almost looks like it starts with a gray, but then it blends into a brown before it hits the crease, and that's exactly what we are doing. Throw your soul through every open door. Count your blessings to 
Next, I'm taking this brown color with the Sigma E40 blending brush. Very light handedly, I'm going to use this right on top of the gray so everything is well blended. Karina has a very well defined outer crease, whereas I have hooded eyes, so we will create that crease using more brown eyeshadow. First, I'm going to draw out a line in the outer crease using a flat definer brush, and then I'm going to blend it out using my Sigma E40. The highlight on her brow bone is very matte, so I'm going to be using this matte bone color to highlight my brow bones. I felt so incomplete when I added the matte eyeshadow, so I had to add just a tiny amount of the So Hollywood Illuminator right under the arch of my brows. Next, I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. For mascara, I'm using the Lashomatic Mascara from Wet n Wild. It didn't seem like she had any false lashes, so I'm going to skip that step as well. Instead, I'm going to be coating the top part of my lashes with mascara too. She had a very natural tone on her lip. It almost looked like she was just enhancing her natural lip color. And for that, I'm going to be using a gel lip liner. This is Bare to Comment from Wet n Wild. I'm going to first outline with this and then I'm going to fill in my lips with the same color. And that concludes the makeup part. Now let's move on to the hair. First, I'm going to coat my hair with the CHI Iron Guard before I use any heat on my hair. This will form a protective layer on your hair so it doesn't get frayed or fried from all the heat that you'll be using on your hair. To get those loose curls, I'm going to be using my Revlon 3 4 inch curling iron. I'm going to be working in sections. I'm going to start on my left side. I'm going to take small sections of hair, comb it down once, clamp it in the curling iron and start rotating it away from my face. I'm going to hold it there for about 10 seconds before I let it loose and then I will section it out and secure it with a clip before I work on the next section. Moving on to the other side, I'm going to repeat the same, curl my hair away from my face, hold it there for 10 seconds and then release it. Once I've curled all my hair, I'm going to start loosening up the curls with my fingers. At this point, if you like, you can use some hairspray. I personally don't prefer on my hair because my curls hold for quite some time. To finish up this look, of course, we need a tube top and a dark blue blazer. And here is the final look. I hope I was able to do some justice to Bebo's look. Comment below and let me know. I value your comments a lot, you probably already know that. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share, you know that'll mean a lot to me. Also if you want more scoop on behind the scenes, my life, my kids, my husband, everything, I post all that on Instagram as well as Facebook, so make sure you're following me there. All the links are provided in the description box below. As always, I had a great time taping this video for you guys. I love you guys so much and I will see you again next week with brand new videos. Bye guys! Your head burn. Think of me in the depths of your despair.